What up, Fortnite fam? It's your boy Matt, back again to bring you the latest and greatest tips and tricks to help you become a better Fortnite player. If you want to be successful in competitive Fortnite, then you need to be utilizing each building piece to its full potential. One of the most versatile pieces in the game is the roof, more commonly known as a cone. We can use the cone to peace control, protect ourselves, move around, and much more. Today we are going to be showing you guys the best ways to use cones in competitive Fortnite. The first and most obvious use of cones on our list is for peace control. Cones are arguably the most important building piece when it comes to peace control due to the extended reach they have, as well as being able to control bottom and top layers. If you were able to claim the cone on the bottom or top of an opponent's box, you are already in a solid position to fully peace them. If you manage to claim the cone above an opponent in a build fight, they will be unable to exit their box when traveling upwards. This means that their momentum will be temporarily stored, allowing you to claim more buildings surrounding them in order for them to really be trapped. The most common example of this is when the opponent is in a box behind a ramp facing toward you. Once you claim the top cone, you can then spray or pickaxe the ramp and replace it with your own cone. This will allow you to get a free shot or even kill them if you're able to hit for enough initial damage. Just make sure that you're still taking a right hand peek when you do this or else advanced players will be able to trade shots with you as the ramp is being replaced. Another common way cones can be used in peace control is in box fights. Whenever you're going for a wall replace on an opponent's box, you should almost always look to place a cone at their feet instead of a ramp. Cones will give you a much better view on the opponents when compared to ramps, and you will avoid those annoying situations where the opponent is constantly being protected by your edited ramp. The only time your opponent can be hidden by your cone is if it is placed directly on top of them, and even when this happens, you can use the situation to create a fantastic right hand peek for yourself using a window edit. Using cones like this in box fights will also give you the opportunity to manipulate cone edits to outplay opponents, but we're going to go over that later on in today's video. Do you ever find yourself struggling with peace control even after countless hours of grinding? Well, then make sure you head over to ProGuides.com where we've got an army of pro coaches ready and waiting to teach you everything you need to know to take your peace control game to the next level. This next way you can use cones in your gameplay is extremely underrated and will 100% improve your abilities as a player. This is the cone and wall method. Whenever players are build fighting or just looking to gain height, they will almost always use ramps and floors to move around. While this might be the popular thing to do, it is not the most optimal. You can move around and trail opponents just as easily when using cone and walls instead. Using these pieces will do a much better job at applying counter peace control to block off your opponent and will create tons of opportunities to peace control your opponent. You see, when you trail opponents while using ramps and floors, the only opportunity you'll have to peace up an opponent is when you manage to get yourself in a position where you could double edit down onto them. Not only is this becoming more rare as players constantly improve, it's also very predictable from the opponent's point of view. On the other hand, when you use cones and walls, the opportunities are practically endless. Since you can throw out three cones every time you make a jump towards your opponent, it's very likely for one of these to lead you to a peace control play. And even if they don't, the cones still act as some solid counter peace control to limit which direction your opponent can move towards. All that you need to learn for the cone and wall method is some proper crosshair placement. Center yourself around half a tile away from the wall you wish to build on with a cone at your feet. With your cone blueprint out, position your crosshair just a smidge above the top of the wall. This will force your cone to place above and behind the wall you're facing. After placing the cone, you'll use the cone at your feet to make the jump onto the top cone. From here, you can then place another wall in front of you and repeat the process infinitely. The only problem you might find yourself running into is jump fatigue, but with the proper timing of your jumps, this shouldn't be too big of an issue. Once you get comfortable and consistent with this sequence, you can start to add extra cones to the left and right of the center as well. These are the cones that will most often create those peace control plays that we mentioned before. Not only can this cone method be used in build fights, it's also a great way to peace control opponents in box fights. Whenever you're attempting to predictively peace control the box next to your opponent, toss a cone on top of the wall you're placing before editing onto the opponent. This will make sure they are unable to escape from the top and will be fully trapped once you claim the surrounding walls. 
This is only one example of how this can be used in fights, so feel free to get creative with this move. Alright Fortnite fam, it's time for the question of the day. Which pro player do you think has the best peace control in the world? It's definitely a close call, so let us know what you think down in the comments below. The next way you can utilize cones to their full potential is by incorporating them into your tarps. Normally players will tarp by using only floors and walls, but adding a cone to the top and bottom of your tarp will add a ton of protection. Especially with the heavy SMG meta we're currently in, players are able to spray through tarps and damage players with ease. A duo could very well spray through the bottom of a tarp and instantly kill an unaware player. To avoid this from happening to you, simply add a cone to the top and bottom of each tile you expand towards. Adding these cones will make it much more difficult for an opponent's spray to make it through, and will likely discourage them from even trying in the first place. It may be difficult to get the hang of adding cones in every box you expand, so take some time in creative to get the muscle memory for this strat down. If you still find yourself struggling to get the cones placed in time, you could also have your teammate place them down as he follows behind you in the back of the tar. We should also mention that adding these cones will cost an additional 20 materials per tile you rotate, so you should really only be doing this when you absolutely need to. Now we all know that cone edits can be useful, but many players are still not using them to the best of their ability. Cones are the most versatile building piece in the game, I mean players literally used to use them as ramps before the builder pro settings were made available. Cones can be edited in a handful of different ways for protection as well as outplaying opponents. First off, whenever you find yourself in a box fight, you should almost always have a cone under your feet. This will prevent the opponent from peace controlling you and also unlocks potential for more efficient angles. Imagine that you're sitting in your box while an opponent attempts to replace your wall. Once he manages to take it, he will edit onto you and place either a ramp or cone in the box to apply peace control and kill you. However, if you were to have a cone at your feet, you could do one of two things. Either edit the two front tiles closest to your opponent to create a ramp for yourself to take high ground, or edit the two tiles in the back of the box to protect yourself as you rebox out the back. Both of these options will work great, but it's up to you to decide which one will work best depending on the situation. Now that you've seen how you can protect yourself with cones, let's go over how you can use them to aggress your opponent. The opposite corner cone edit is a strategy that Clix has been using for quite some time now. This edit will leave your opponent with absolutely zero cover and will catch them off guard entirely. To do this move, simply select the any two diagonally opposite tiles and confirm the edit. This will cause the cone to open entirely through the middle, giving you an easy shot on your opponent. This move can be a great way to finish off an opponent who's low when you have a cone in their box. Just don't get too greedy with this, because a player on 200 health could very well win the gunfight if you run toward them. Well that wraps up things for today Fortnite fam. Did you enjoy the video? Be sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest tips and tricks that we have to offer. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know if there is anything you would be interested in learning more about. Remember, in order to take your Fortnite career to the next level, you need to be fully taking advantage of everything you can. Taking some time to make sure you're using each building piece correctly will make you discover or adjust some things you've never really thought about. Once again, my name is Matt and I'll see you in our next video here at ProGuides.